Before you begin, remove the top cover, battery, power button board, and speakers. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Remove the display panel cable from the retention tape and routing channel on the fan and base enclosure. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen cable ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen cable from the system board. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cable from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cable from the wireless module by grasping the connector with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the hard disk drive ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the nine 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the base enclosure. Remove the 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fan to the base enclosure. Remove the 2 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless module to the base enclosure. Grasping the system board near the center, carefully lift the left edge of the system board off of the alignment pins on the base enclosure and slide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the base enclosure. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink fan assembly, solid state drive, memory modules, wireless module. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings.